Well, hello, church. We are here on the Willows property. Believe it or not, we are 10 days away from officially receiving the keys as owners here. There's so amazing. much that I've personally learned just in this journey. God is an amazing God. And we just wanted to update you folks with some things and with some stories. So, Pastor Greg, earlier today, you're sharing with me a little bit about an email that you sent to us, the church family, earlier this year. Can you share with them what you're telling me, please? Yeah, this was earlier this year because every year we began the year with a five-day period of prayer and fasting. It's a time of prayer, fasting, and setting our lives apart for God. And uh, in the email, this is what I said. Listen, this is really interesting. I said, team, as we approach a big year, we're believing with big faith for a week of prayer and fasting and consecration. And I want to give you a couple things to focus your thoughts on. And then number one, I said, my vision for our church community is that each one will join us in reaching out to someone as we commit to each one, reach one for Jesus. Mm -hmm. But then the fourth prayer point was this. We're praying for a building for Grace Honolulu mm -hmm. from which we'll continue to reach out grow our church community and enlarge our influence and send out more workers into the mm. Lord's harvest field. Wow. And here we stand yep. at the end of the year that started with this prayer mm -hmm. and God is fulfilling the prayer that we asked for. Yeah. Now, full disclosure, I ask our church to pray that every year. For the last right. 10 years, I've asked for our church to pray for a, a building because we believe God wants to give us a place to do all the things we just mentioned. Mm -hmm. However, I, I've noticed that God's timing is sometimes different than our timing. Mm. And this is where it intersects with this period of Advent that we're in. Mm -hmm. In fact, uh, Paul says this about the coming of Christ. He says, at the time set by God, God sent his son. Mm -hmm. It was God's perfect timing. Mm -hmm. It wasn't too late. It wasn't too early. It was God's perfect timing. Mm -hmm. Even though at times his perfect timing doesn't seem like our perfect timing or the timing right. that we want. And I think because of that, you know, we, we often miss what God is doing. Mm. But God has a perfect timing. And we believe that in his perfect timing, not only did he send his son, but in his perfect timing, he wanted to give grace, Honolulu, a new place. Yeah. Yeah. Thank goodness for God's perfect timing. Of Amazing. course, in the new year in 2021, we'll continue to have our week of prayer and fasting. Why? Because it clearly works. Here we are, like you said, yeah. here we are today at the end of the year. We started the year with this exact prayer. I can't wait to do it again because we know that prayer works. And we know that God has put us in this situation because of all the instances of his favor. He yeah. gave us favor with the banks. He put us in a location that was so ideal, gave us favor with the seller to give us a place that was actually within the reach of yeah. our budget. And of course, your partnership church, your generosity as we raise funds to bring us this far. So thank you so much, church. But isn't it amazing that God has shown up in this process and affirmed that he is a faithful God yep. and affirmed that this is very clearly within his plan, within his will. Yep. So, so what else can we do as a church going forward? How else can we partner? Yeah, you know, you know the big thing right now is for us to continue praying because we know that when we mm. pray, God hears our prayers. We know that when God, when we pray in accordance with what he wants, then he's going to do it. Mm -hmm. As you mm -hmm. mentioned over and over and over again, he just demonstrates how amazing, how beautiful, how powerful he is. Yeah. And so a couple of things that I want to invite you to pray for is number one, let's pray for this neighborhood and this community. Mm -hmm. And then number two, let's pray as we continue to make preparations to be able to utilize this church space that God has given us. We, 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 at a certain point, we didn't even need to call it the Willows property anymore. Right, this right. is like grace. Honolulu, this is our <laughs> church, man. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. So we're going to get the keys in 10 days. Now, I'm curious. I think maybe a lot of other people are curious. What does that mean? Does that mean that we are going to have service here in the following weekend? Or what can we yeah. expect going forward? That's a great question. I know many of you are thinking that or asking that and wondering that. And we want to let you know what's going to happen. Well, basically, here's what's going to happen. We will not start gathering together and having our services right away. Mm. Two big things we're doing. Number one, we're making preparations here. And we're going to invite you to participate Together with us, we have this big, beautiful property, mm -hmm. and we want to do some things to make it accommodating for the guests and visitors and for you mm -hmm. to be able to come and participate together with us in a safe worship service. And then also, we're waiting right now to mm -hmm. secure a restaurant operator. Okay. And I got I to tell you, man, I just get impatient. Mm -hmm. uh, but then I go back, and especially during this time, I remember that God's timing may not be my timing, but God's timing is perfect. Mm. And at the time set by God, he sent his son. And I believe at the time sent by God, 
that he will send the restaurant operator. So right now we're working to secure that yeah. so that we can begin you know, functioning as a church as well and having our Sunday services. Got it, yeah. got it. So property improvements are still to come. We need to secure the restaurant operator. I love that all of this is just so consistent with the vision that we set out with, yeah. which was to reach people that didn't know God, to build disciples, and then to serve our community. Can you share with us yeah. maybe just one last story as we're sharing these updates? Yep, so our prayer for building has always been on my prayer list for the beginning of the year, but our prayer for each one of us to prayerfully reach out to somebody and each one reach one, that's also been at the top of our list every mm -hmm. year because that's why we exist. We believe that God wants to use us here to have a church space, not just for us to gather in, but for us to be able to pour into our community and love our community and reach those who don't know Jesus with the only thing that can help them, especially in the season that we're in, mm -hmm. the ultimate message of Jesus Christ yeah. and his love for us. And yeah. so we wanna reach people for Christ, we wanna make disciples, help people follow Christ, and we wanna raise up leaders to be influencers in our community. Mm -hmm. And just as we've been here, uh, it's just been so encouraging. The other day we met a 97 year old woman who was one of our neighbors here, ah. who was telling us that that banyan tree, or the a monkey pod tree, mm. is older than her. It was here before she was here. No. So yeah, it's amazing. So we have a tree that's been here before, but how excited she is that a church has come into this environment. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, and we met a man the other day. We have a space out in front of our, our church where people oftentimes can take a little reprieve from the heat. And so this man was doing that as he typically does as he walks to Longs or wherever he's going. Mm -hmm. He was sitting in the shade and uh, he, he wanted to know what's going on in here because I see some activity. I see mm -hmm. the things getting beautified right. and cleaned up. And so we told him, you know, we're a church and we're coming in and we really want to be a part of serving the community. Mm -hmm. And he's got this big old smile on his face. Yeah. And then he said, well, what else are you doing? So we're, we're going to reach and serve the University of Hawaii community and help college students find their purpose in life mm -hmm. and follow the God that created them. And mm -hmm. his, his smile got big. Now, he's not a follower of Christ, mm -hmm. but he sees the potential for impact mm -hmm. in a positive way. And yeah. He was just excited about it. Yeah. And we found that time and time again with our neighbors yeah. here. It's yeah. exciting. Love those stories. Thank you so much for allowing us to share with you some of these updates. And thank you again for your partnership, your generosity, your prayers. Yes, Grace Honolulu, let's do this together.